Okay, Danny students, welcome to my YouTube channel, Angelito Panuncio. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve quadratic equation by extracting square roots. So it is very important to familiar with perfect square numbers. Perfect square numbers are 1 is square, we have 1, 2 is square, we have 4, 3 is square, we have 9, 4 is square, we have 16, 5 is square, we have 25, 6 is square, we have 36, 7 is square, we have 49, 8 is square, we have 64, 9 is square, we have 81, and so on, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, and 225. So it is very important that you are familiar with these perfect square numbers. So let's proceed in this lesson. Solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. So let's have problem number one. So let's say we have x squared less 25 is equal to 0. Okay. So, let's isolate the variable first by adding positive 25 using APE. Okay, so we have x squared less 25 plus 25 is equal to 0 plus 25. Okay, let's simplify. We have x squared. So, cancel out, negative 25 plus 25 is 0. And then, we have, equals, equals, 0 plus 25, we have 25 now. So, we have x squared is equal to 25. Extracting square roots. So, square root lang natin siya. And then, this one. Square root of x squared and cancel, cancel. So we have x is equal to square root of 25. We have positive and negative 5. So that's it. We have positive and negative 5. So bakit nga ba merong positive and negative? So negative 5 multiplied by negative 5, we have 25. Positive 5 multiplied by positive 5, we have 25. So, meron tayong dalawang solution given this problem. Okay, let's proceed to problem number 2. Problem number 2, we have 2y squared less 72 is equal to 0. So, i-isolate natin yung ating variable y. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2y square is equal to, using APE, we have positive 72. Ah, yung variable y natin meron kasamang numerical coefficient na 2. So, ibig sabihin, di-divide natin both sides by 2. And cancel. So, y square is equal to 72 divided by 2, we have 36. Then by extracting square roots, by extracting, so, and square roots natin yung both terms natin. So, cancel, cancel, so we have y is equal to square root of, square root of 36, we have positive and negative 6. So the answer is positive and negative 6 or our solution in this given problems are positive and negative 6. Now, hi guys. Next, let's proceed to problem number 3. Okay, problem number 3. Let's say we have 3a squared less 147 is equal to 0. Again, 3a squared less 147 is equal to 0. 
So, same process lang din siya doon sa nauna nating example. Or nauna nating problem. Okay? So, let's isolate the variable A. Ayan. So, 3A square is equal to negative 147. Transpose natin or APE. We have positive 147. And yung variable A natin, meron kasamang numerical coefficients na 3. So therefore, you divide natin siya ng 3 both sides. Okay, cancel. A square now is equal to 147 divided by 3. So let us check. 147 divided by 3. Okay. So 14 divided by 3, um, we have... 4, 4 times 3, we have 12. Then, 14 less 12, we have 2. Then, bring down 7, 27. Then, 7 divided by 3, we have 9. Then, 9 times 3, we have 27. And 27 less 27 is equal to 0. Yeah. So, 147 divided by 3 is equal to 49. By extracting... A square and the square root of A square we have A now. Then the square root of 49 we have positive and negative 7. So the solution in this given problems are positive 7 and negative 7. Yes? And now let's proceed to problem number 4. Let's say we have 4B squared less 121 is equal to 0. Uh, same process lang din siya. Isolate ang variable. So we have 4B squared is equal to 100, negative 121. Transpose natin magiging positive 100, 121. Next, dividing both sides by 4. So, cancelled out. B square now is equal to one, 121 divided by 4. Is it divisible by 4? No. But we notice that 121 is a perfect square and 4 is also a perfect square. So, kapin lang natin. 121 divided by 4. Then, by extracting, and both sides. So, cancelled out, cancelled out. B square is equal now to positive and negative. Square root of 121, we have 11 over square root of 4. So, we have 2. So, ito yung magiging sagat natin. We have positive 11 over 2 and negative 11 over 2. That is our solution in this given problem. Okay? Next tayo, problem number 5. Next tayo, problem number 5. Let's say we have quantity of m plus 5 raised to 2 is equal to 169. So, notice that in our given problem, meron siyang parenthesis. At the same time, perfect square siya. Ganon din doon sa number na 100. So, pwede na ba natin siyang i-extract? Yes. So, copy na natin. You have m plus 5 square is equal to 169. By extracting, and cancel, cancel. So, we have m plus 5 is equal to square root of 169. We have positive and negative 13. Okay? So, notice that variable M is not yet isolated. They are together with number 5. So, M plus 5 is equal to... Uh, so, we have positive 13. And the other one, we have M plus 5 is equal to... Negative 13. Okay. So, M 
is equal now to 13. Ipat natin yung positive 5, we have negative 5. So, m is equal to 13 minus 5, we have 8. Yan. So, our m sub 1 is equal to 8. Or the first solution is equal to 8. Yan. Next, m is equal to Lipat natin yung positive 5, so we have negative 13 less 5. Okay? So, m sub 2 now is equal to negative 13 minus 5, we have negative 18. So, the other solution of this given problem is negative 18. Therefore, the two solutions are positive 8 and negative 18. Okay? Next, let's proceed to problem number 6. In problem number 6, we have n square less 11 is equal to 0. So, isolate natin yung variable natin. n square is equal to negative 11. Transpose natin magiging positive 11. By extracting square roots, So, cancel, cancel. Variable n now is equal to what is square root of 11. So, positive and negative square root of 11 pa rin siya. Since, 11 is not a perfect square number. So, our solution are positive square root 11 and negative square root 11. Okay? So, that is solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. Ayan, we're done! I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video ito na inyong pinanood. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and if you have clarification, ask your teacher. See you next time!